Nasi goreng ada satu, aku tak cik lima. Eh, masa lah nasi goreng buat satu tiga film. Cik. Jom aku. Eh, tu lah jom. Ini mereka sesuai gitu. Pano si wami la kusada. Ma wame tu wabangu. Leo, ma uliza. Ma uliza njoo baba yangu. Maro ni kusikia nchala. He had there is a saying God had prepared all the gifts in a basket. And then he went through all the countries of the world. But at the end, when he arrived in Congo, he was completely tired. He said, okay, let me give them everything that's left in the basket. <laughs> Congo was the property of King Leopold II, the king of Belgium. It was mainly diamond and gold that he was taking from the country to get the gold, to get diamond. He had to, to impose the quota to the locals. So all these guys must go into the bush and come back with the number of kilos they asked. If one of them could miss maybe two kilos, they'll cut his hands, things like that. So he did monstrosity. Horrible things in this, in this country. The funny I was after the Belgians came the independence. Now we became free. My name is Bernard Kalume Buleri. I was born in 1960, the year of the independence of our country. <laughs> My father had been working for Somenki, which was the Society of Mining of Belgium. So we studied with the money of the minerals. We were fed with the money of the minerals. The first time I, uh, I, I lived the war, I was seven years old. Before leaving, Belgians had taken care to hide many minerals. And then they sent mercenaries just to recuperate all the minerals and all the goods of this Belgium. They fought FRDC and all the population of Congo had to run in Rwanda. So we became refugees. The war lasted six months. Congolese soldiers were now taking revenge on the Belgians. And then they came to kill one of the president of the Solenki, the Belgian mining company. They asked him to get out of his office. It was on the stairs that they shot, they shot him. And you saw this? I saw, I saw it. And those are the images that shocked me. I was thinking, I'll become one day a president. And when I become a pre if I become a president one day, I will try to stop all this. I was young. I'm taking international journalists to cover different topics. Some will come for minerals, some will come for human rights abuses, some will for killings, all kinds of stuff. Bonjour. My kids must not live the life I've lived. Because to become a fixer, 
you must have a lot of experience of sufferings, you know, of dangers. I was asking God to give me the wisdom, the wisdom of not to be quick, to be angry, you know. And those qualities helped me a lot. I've been a witness of many, many things. So I know what I'm, I'm doing. I know the limits of things. What cards I must use now? Sometimes you have to deal even with the devil and the good people at the same time. The majority of our population don't know what is going on, even in Congo. All the stories of crime, of insecurity, of looting, of rape, are just around the minerals of Congo. It's a scandal. They call it geological scandal. Because here we have uranium. It's uranium from Congo that uh, they throw on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We have cobalt. We have diamond. We have gold. We have coltan. We have cassiterite. We have tourmaline. We have all the minerals you can think in your head here in Congo. And some others we don't know even its what. <laughs> Bugari. Nata Anastasia na kula bugari. Sorry. Ede vi. Da kula. Eh, uko na bulo. Da kula. Simini ba chwa. Da kula, da kula, da kula. Da kula. Wewe shindo kula wali sasa mama za kula. Ya ba cha bugari na mara. So, you understand that this country is a paradise. That this is why we don't, we don't understand how ourselves we are poor in such a country. I'm going to ask where is the ministry of division division information how to It doesn't exist, but you have Sweet, the intelligence guy sent us to a place that doesn't exist. No one knows the place, but they sent me to the division of trans transport and communication. They say maybe you can find a division inside. <laughs> I think we're gonna find it, or I think we're gonna create it while we're here. I'll probably come. Bro, kila butu wapi kumu yuai. Anataka onesha kama na yuwa. After the war, life was very good. From 19, 1967. At that time, Mobutu was in good relationship with Europeans, with the Western countries. In 1973, he went to the UN, he made a speech. And this speech was the, the problem, the, start, the beginning of the problem in Congo, because he insulted white people. 
Le monde se divise en deux camps, les dominés et les dominateurs, les exploités et les exploiteurs. Notre pays n'a pas seulement souffert à cause de l'impréparation politique, mais également et surtout suite à la convoitise de l'Ouest et de l'Est, les uns et les autres voulant avoir une influence déterminante sur nous afin d'être maîtres de nos importantes ressources naturelles. Mon pays est prêt à affronter ce combat sacré, quels qu'en soient les sacrifices, et nous ne reculerons jamais, quoi qu'il arrive, quoi qu'il en coûte. And then they said, okay. Congo would never receive funds anymore. And that's when Mobutu on the television, she said, okay, guys, we have a problem. So from now on, everybody for himself and that for us all. And he told soldiers, I can't give you guns and give you salaries. Okay? So there started now the misery of Congolese. <laughs> All the population became very, very miserable. Our fathers were not paid. So if you are in an office, before giving a signature, give me $20, you see? And this is how everywhere it's become a normal system. Ici, pour le service, c'est 50 dollars. Pourquoi il faut donner encore 25 dollars, il me dit pour le chef Tu vois pas Manski, il Congo et toi, on a pris tout ce que ça m'a tout à fait. Je ne pouvais pas avoir un job, donc je suis allé à Rwanda. À Rwanda, j'ai travaillé dans des hôtels. C'est là que j'ai commencé à jouer de la musique. J'ai rencontré un groupe de jeunes Congolais, donc j'ai commencé à jouer de la musique. We got a big success in Rwanda. In Rwanda, there were two ethnic Hutus and Tutsis. There were a problem, big problem between them. Sometimes Hutu will take the power, Tutsi will take the power. I was singing for Hutus and Tutsis. I had friend Tutsi, I had friend Hutus. We were living in peace with my wife, okay? She was a wonderful wife. I met her because of music. One day I was singing, I was singing, and then she came, she kissed me, and talked to me in the ear, saying, okay, I love you, I really love, love you. Okay, I didn't take care because, okay, I was a young bachelor, Okay, many girls were coming around uh, around me. But she managed to discover where I was living. And then she came up at my place four days later. And then it was finished. Uh, and then I, f I, f I fell in love with her. We lived 80 years together before they come to kill her. Most of the casualties are being inflicted by government troops and their allied militias as they systematically slaughter civilians in what appears to be an attempt to exterminate Rwanda's 700,000 strong minority population from the Tutsi tribe. We stayed in the, during the genocide. We saw that everything. No one could believe that they will kill people until nearly one million people only because they are Tutsis. I was sitting in the sitting room with my kids, playing, okay, I was playing guitar with them, showing them some, okay, and then she was in the kitchen, and then came four into the house, well armed with guns, they said, okay, we are coming here to look for the snake that lives here, I said, what kind of, of snake, when she heard the voices, she thought, it, it was my friends from my, my music band, she opened the door, of the kitchen 
and one of the, the, the guys shouted, this is the snake we are looking for. So they pulled her out of the house and they wanted to kill her with the machetes. The children were, who were there. And then I started to discuss and say, please, instead of killing her with machetes and knives, kill her with bullets. And then they said, no, snakes are not meant to, to, to be killed with bullets. It's a loss for us. And then they started to beat her. And then I paid 5,000 Rwandese francs to kill my wife with the bullets. But I couldn't fight, I couldn't do any, anything. The children were, were there, so I had to take the children inside the house. When I pushed the children inside the house, they, they shot two times. When I came back, she was there. And then the guys left. This is how they killed me. I'm sorry. At that time, I tried even to look for those guys. The people who killed my wife crossed the border two months later after me because they were chased now from the power. They lost the country. They had to, 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 to be refugees to come. Well, these rebels were here and are still here to loot minerals. <laughs> <laughs> At that time of the boom of cotton, one kilo was one hundred dollars. So everybody was in cotton. So during the war, all the holes in the bush were controlled by rebels. Planes from Uganda, from Tanzania, from Rwanda will come straight and land on those aer small aeroports we saw. I said, okay, now I am in Congo, in my country. I know people who can help me kill these people. I'm going to look for them. But God helped me. I didn't see that. Once in my life, I could, I could kill, you see. And at the end, I understood that the hatred you have, it, it doesn't destroy the people for whom you have it, you know? But it destroys yourself. We'll be thinking, lost in your thoughts. That's what happened to me. And I was really killing myself. 
And by that time, I was killing my children too. Because they needed me to be strong. They needed all the love they lost from me. So I start to pray God to give me the, the strength, the heart to forgive and to forget. At that time, I start to live at home. I start to talk, to play with my kids. And my children started to change completely. Took maybe five years, five, six years, before I could really feel I can live it. It's not easy, but there is no other alternative. Ina katika ambreage. Ina kia sa sa na si mami shamo to fanta kito kweki. Kalo ya bali na choka jo baat. Apa njoo kwenye muzungu kwa kakuia jo ba na bali kwenye ba 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 mepala tumi kau. Busele zako kumbi de kilometre. Ba kariere. Eh. Kuma kariere tumi ngi ba ba tumi kumbi. Eh. Sawa kuma de kilometre. Kuma de zero kuma kuba muzungu be kwa chimba. Aha. Ba de kilometre. Kuma kuero koro. Eh. Ma kiki. Kima. Nipata hapa si bashana kinia mashindo masasi. Hmm. Ziko nekana tu ni tu. Niba kimbia ni miezi ya bakuye watu. Eh. Mimi si panisha ke watu wa nguru hapo. Napiga tu no mashini tu 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 When I came back after the genocide in 1994, I started to work for MONUSCO, the UN mission in Congo. At that time, war everywhere, people were killed everywhere, and MONUSCO couldn't do anything. Anything. Why? The mandate was you are there just to observe. You are not there to be mixed in the Congolese problem. So, Monique base will be there, and they will be killing people maybe 200 meters from there. They won't move from their bases to protect the population. I was in charge of doing the damage control of all the, 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 the they will they, they will do. I, will, I, I was there to clean because I was a Congolese. I had to explain this too my compatriots Congolese. But at a certain point, I couldn't explain something anymore. I was feeling, I was getting a lot of money on the blood of my Congolese compatriots, you know. And then I resigned. I was earning $4,500 a month. And everybody said, you are mad. But they couldn't, they couldn't imagine what I'm feeling. That's why I left. Since I've resigned from the UN, I have to, to be the fixer, to become a fixer. Jina angu mimi naito kwa Uwaso Mkengu. Niko Marie, niko na bibi na batoto saba. Minyo niko hapa, wanamuke na batoto biko bukavu. Hapa na bukavu ni 330 km. Kwa kutembea na miguu, 
ni posho mzima yani juma mzima mwaka da bitid juu ya makazi na finansima ziko kabisa tunaendaka kumwaka mara pili katbo sikusa yako ke muombe lai acha hii usi ndani au kuishi mbali ya familia na jisikiaka sijisikiage mzuri na kama naishi mbali nayo na ya kupermetre hivi mtu anaweza enda mara pili mara tatu mara ine kumwaka atapana gisi gonye mtu kwanajikutana mbiniko na iko nafanya si bana nikumbuka sana hata kutelefoni niko naongea na mama yako wote bana kwa bananza kuniuliza tarudia wakati gani pakia wakati naambia ningeenda tumika gisi muishi ina <laughs> kwenye tutaingia kesho ndio kwenye mimi na supervisor sasa vile chef wa mine pale unaona kama ni kitu kinyewe kilibakia ni generation na generation hakuna gisi unaweza kuiacha kasteriti napatikana kolta inapatikana or diamelo ni kanaka naye or flam turmaline hizi zinapatikana zina, zina, zina kwa hiyo wamuja mtakuwa biadi sekwa o aya watabuka bila peki ndio leo Tunatia kichanga muongozi. Kisha tunatia wapi soro kamata na wapi Anakamata yeye. Wa maji naye anatia. Mie na miwa mukumbu. Hiyo inapandisha. Kolteni akasterite. Sasa tunafika sasa kunyumba, tunakausha. Kisha kukausha, tunapeta, tuatoshe ile kichanga. Kutosha kichanga, tunakamata ema. Tunaanza pisha sasa tunaanza kuseparate kaste kwake kolta kwake njala hatuna kitu mwaii ni kuangalia gisi watoto wasitufie huko yuko tokea chonka kila siku anatoka huko anaenda chonka anakuya asubuhi anarudia anakuya bila transport bila transport tunakosa hata transport hapa tunojisha bana tuiba hapa bana tuiba musi milfra kwa siku samwa 10 kilo 20 kilo ya bila sawa sa de pana nguvu mkazi ndio anaweza pesa yombo ya kutumika beshi angalia leta kwenye beshi huko hii mabeshi hii tena inaisha mpaka tena mie ni sukule hii kichanga nipate tena gisi ya kuuza beshi hii basi njoo ile tu na kupata hii beshi hii madiki lo diki lo njoo nipate hii beshi njoo maisha huko kwetu Huko kwetu kuko hii madini iko mingi. Madini iko mingi. Mwana nguvu, hana nguvu ndio anaendaka kule bandi. Bandi ndio anaendaka kule kazi. Mwana nguvu. Nipande mimi niko nguvu tuende mimi. Ndio mwana tu mpaka hivi atende kuziacha. Juso si tena bazungu bwa bana itokea kule bana ikuya bana ifuata huko. 83 84. Ndio bilianja kabisa. Na watu wakaanza kukontrole. Contrairement mm, na wakati nye ba Belge balikuwa juu ile kweli wakati ya ba Belge wakibaka kuona unafungu atukaa kuna difference juu inereye tu leo aina valeri ni juu ai ai kama tike iko natoka ku ba étranger biko na kia bana kamata bana ivusha mumanoza na she ba watu ya inchi atubenefisie kwa hiyo par rapport a ile kwa tu bo ba Belge bo peke ndio bana beba na bana pokeza tu bale mwenye bakutumika awezi jua salere nye tatea kwa 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 pokeo baba ya 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 si watu makayabo wana wapatia makayabo wapatia chumvi jisee 
na manguo na On travaille, c'est toujours ça. Ça, il n'y a pas de colta. Mais il n'y a pas de colta. 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 Chatengeneza, on a fait un massacre. Je fais un massacre, on a dit que tu n'as pas eu ma couette. Je suis à tout pour voir que tu n'as pas eu ma couette. Tu n'as pas eu ma couette, tu n'as pas eu ma couette. Par moi, je n'ai pas eu ma couette. Je suis à Zungu njoko na kula mimi kusema kusema utume utume upate tu sengan dola na kuwa kati uta uta nani uta pata sheki nani mwana profite pa uta igabula ku transport uta igabula ku masomo ya watoto uta igabula wapi uta igabula ku chakula uta igabula ku Kukuzipanga tu na kama tamaduni, yahu, maduni, tume kana mzungu, mwenye mwenye Kanada, mwenye alitoke alitoke Kanada, iko mtumishiwa ki, akure wika kwa wika, wakati wa mfunga kwa, ni kama nanjoni kwa, bazungu yote ni sa. Mwenye na kupatia tu kazi na njoo mzungu. Imagine the digger. Those are guys who have no, never been at school. You can see they are in the village, in a remote area. There is no television. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ah. Bonjour. Ça va, papa? Oui, ça va. Beaucoup, merci. Merci. Bon courage, hein? Et merci beaucoup. Non, ne fais pas ça, madame, ne fais pas ça. Ok, bonsoir, papa. Allez, okay. 
they don't understand good things. They know that it is European countries, Western countries that are coming here and take our minerals. They know, but they don't understand in which ways. If the corporation comes here, they will give them some salary, but it's salary of misery, as, as before, as Belgians have done. At the end, you said, where, from where will come the solution? Because this is the system. This is the system now. Huh? How to change it? I don't know. I don't know. Tout ce qu'il faut pour commencer le matinée à Goma. Maintenant, on va nous micro, dans les la météo. Celsius en ce moment avec une chance de pluie minime à 12%. Le Conseil national de l'Ordre des avocats a décidé depuis lundi d'annuler les élections qui ont porté M. Kitoga, Sidney à la tête du barreau de Goma, et ont tranché pour un deuxième tour des élections. La dernière Assemblée générale des avocats a été jugée irrégulière. Nous avons optimisé la date du 31 juillet comme la date de la fin de l'enrôlement sur l'Assemblée de territoire nationale, la date du 30 octobre 2017 comme la date de la présidentielle, l'initiative nationale et le provincial. Et ça, c'est Il y a un peu de Bengine wanabagombola, wanalandani, na ukishwa wanabagombola wa ya vindi.
Sasa <laughs> Mimi sio kapabu kupata isaki. Kwa mtu mko safi ile ndugu pale nawaambia wale nikopeshe na kupatia yaka. Siku nilipatia hapo ndani ukani patia vendo lani uzima azame ndio nitumiki. Siku inapita ile siku kama siku resile ile niko atafuta mwana nifunisha ninge mkasho. Bo unaona mzee afere ya ya kusha ya kusha bei ya minere. Si tunatoka kapu na kama minere labda iko mvei fulani mndivyo za bukavu. Sasa tunatoka hapo tuambia kisote kile ni dolari. Bwana itosha hapo sema ifisha kule kontoar. Bale wazungu wanaangalia mbia wanakuambia kama ele mina shuka munivoya ya Londri. Wakisha kuambia vile uha una... Wee, banakonisha kama kuna majio huna frank. Bale 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 wanakuambia kuambia atakuzia mkatri dolari. Hakuna kisi tuafanya. Sasa mimi Sasa mm. tutapiga kibambazi pale tuanze bongo na bongo na kwa hiyo pale mbele. Sivyo rake kwa hiyo. Ha. Ewa na dunisha hii. Wewe leta torshi kwa msa angalie pia. Nipatie torshi nani pia? Leta nani torshi? Leta torshi ni kwa Ewa ni sasa ma raba ili jua se una yuezaka ewa ni ewa ni kanga la enyo ewa ni vida sabiere yaron thamini kana biga la ba thamini kana sabiga la pa shi frango kuzibon ewa kuba ne frango kun sasa ma raba sanda pata izi frango suwezi chesa nazo ba Sasa chesa na hizi lari mimi nakwambia pia. Aona, mshusho bwana kule. Hakuna. Hapa tatuona tuko banana. Mbongo de sisi. Mshusho wapi? Wewe kama shughuli cha kwamba ni mkosa. Una sana set tena nitamaliza tena 50 tena 20. Mimi kuna 50 20 kuvaliza ni affair. Eh? Hapo vile. Ijikuzeka ni rapidi sana. Sasa ingelikuwa mwe na bei. Kasisi kwe na bei sawa. Ne kila wakati ni kushuka kushuka kama ile mizabo kama ile mimashukile mtu mwingine bichina bichi You are mine now. 
We know that the minerals of Congo, you know, have helped many countries to, to develop themselves. So Congo had contributed for the progress of the world. If the minerals of Congo were not there, the economy of the world will go down and many, many countries will suffer, really. Imagine if there is not phone anymore. God, how can we live again in our world without phone, without a computer, <laughs> without a plane? <laughs> it would be really a disaster. We'll come back to the prehistoric period, you see. <laughs> I can't say that uh, Congolese, we are in control of our destiny. Uh, no, because the one who benefits from our minerals are not the local population. But uh, Western countries are the ones who are taking everything. They are making themselves rich while we are getting poor and poor. I'm afraid even for my children, because they will continue in this system to be slaves forever. We will never be uh, enough powerful to challenge the Western countries. So the future will be the future of slaves. You know. I don't. I don't. I don't think. I don't think our children will be able to solve the problem that we didn't solve. You know. Malaysia is sana utunzaji wa migu. Kachilia pata katifu. Kame mruka kando manaki metoswa katika hali ya nyumba. Kama ukipata neema. Ya kupata eneo ambalo unamupa mungu. Mita katifu kwa mungu. Kame mungu wako umetunzwa na ukatengeneza eneo. Kwa utuku. Mana mungu na utunzwa. Lati mwana kwa mungu na utembea katika utukufu wa mungu. Les autorités présentes ont déposé des gerbes de fleurs au monument aux morts de Cagnola, dont les nombres avoisinent les 1600. Tous les mots de circonstances prononcées ce jour ont condamné les actes de l'homme perpétrés sur les paisibles citoyens et sur le bien jusqu'à déchirer tous les tissus économiques du monde de Cagnola. Plus de 35 000 vaches. It's hard to keep in. We don't understand what kind of system they have put on to rule this world. I don't talk about the other country. I'm talking about my country. I'm talking about my family. And the worst, I don't see. I don't see a solution. I don't think there is a solution. I think, I think that my wife keeps in front of my eyes. Many times she'll come back when I'm alone. I'll see her talking to me. I'll, I will hear her talking to me. Now, I have a big problem with the children. I don't know what to do with them. I would like them to go abroad. Just forget this region. They have right to happiness. Too. They have right to joy. But in this region, they will never get this. Get this. I'm struggling. I try to stay, to stay stable. I try to have a normal life. But it's sad look. Sometimes I feel I'm dead.
after they have killed my wife in Rwanda, I got married to another wife. Other people go to church to look for, you know, uh, serious uh, girls. Others will go into schools, other to serious families, you know. But I decided to go to look for my wife in a bar, a night club. I've been through many sufferings. I have, I know, I have love to give. So I went in the bar. She was there sitting on a chair herself, drinking a beer. And then I said, that's her. I called her and we started talking. And then I said, you know what? From now on, you are my wife. She was looking at me like this. What? You don't even know me. I said, no, I don't, I don't need to know, to know you. And then we went together to my place. Since that day, until now, we are together. She went into the bar just by accident through that? No. She was a prostitute at that time. She was really a prostitute. But she had forgotten everything. And sometimes she'd said, she look at me and say, thank you. Because if I continue that, that life, maybe I'll be dead now. You know? But I say, never tell you. How can you thank me? I love you. That's all.